So let's continue with our Google Lit Trip. In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can add an image to the description bubble in your Google Lit Trip. Now, any image that we want to add to our Google Lit Trip already needs to be on the internet. So there's only two ways that we can put an image online. One is that the image already exists online and that we're using it as part of our Lit Trip. The second thing is that we need to upload our images into uh, some kind of an online photo storage. So I'm going to go through and show you how those two things can be done. Okay, the first way is maybe that I want to look for an image that's already online. So I'm going to go back out to the internet and I could go into Google Image Search and maybe I'll just type in the title of our book. Because I want to know more about this, maybe I want to see what images are already online. Now there's some images that I could probably use, right? These come directly from the book or from the new movie that just came out. So if I wanted to use one of these images, what I need from this image is its address. Let's show you how you find the address. So I'm going to click on the image and you can see if I click on the see full size image link here, I actually get a copy of the image is address right up here. Now I could copy and paste that. Another option if you're in Firefox is if you right click on the image you can copy the image's location. So you can go right from the internet to your image. So I can go up there and click copy image location. Now that's specific to Firefox. If you're using Internet Explorer you may need to come down to properties and that's where you'll find the images location as well. So you can find it in one of two ways when you're in uh, in Firefox you can just simply right click on the copy image location. If you're in Internet Explorer you may need to go down and click on properties and then highlight and copy the image location yourself. Please be sure that you get the entire location otherwise this won't work. So I could do that. I could go and grab one of these pictures. Let's see. I'm going to let's just show you how I could do this real quick. I'll grab this location by using the right click copy image location and now I'm going to go back into Google Earth and show you how I can do this. So inside this bubble now I need to get back into the edit mode. So the way I get back into the edit mode is instead of left clicking on the dot I need to right click on the push pin and if you're in a PC you'll see properties at the bottom of the list. If you're on a Mac you'll see get info. As I click that the editing window comes back open so I can continue to work on it. Remember, I've got my my yellow flashing box so I can move this around again if I need to, but if I don't want to I can leave it alone. So I want to put that picture right down below the title of my area. Now I can paste in that address just by pasting in the URL, but there's a problem with this. Um, images this is using HTML code and I don't want to get too technical with you there's only one little piece of code that you need to remember and it's all about an image tag so I'm going to show you the proper way to type in an image tag so that you can get your images to display because right now all it does is text it won't actually display the image until I give it a little bit of information and instruction so let's show you how to do this in HTML code you need to type the following you need to type an opening caret which is the greater than sign and then right next to that, IMG stands for image, and I want to tell Google Earth that the image's source is this URL. So I put in SRC equals, and then a quotation mark. So the instruction that I'm giving right now from, uh, for Google Earth to display is, go out on the internet and find the source for the image at the following location. At the end of my URL, I need to put a closing quotation mark, and a closing caret or the less than sign. So you can see how I've done that. An opening caret or the greater than sign, IMG, a space, SRC for source, equals, and then I need to paste the URL for the picture inside of parentheses and put my closing bracket or closing caret, which is the less than sign. Watch what this does when I click OK. Ooh, let me just move that so I can actually click OK. There we go. Now as I click on this bubble, look what displays. Okay. Now notice how my text is kind of uh, fouled up just a little bit in here. So I might want to manipulate that around slightly. Let's show you how we can do that. It's one more little piece of code. So I'm going to right click on my word bubble 
just again to show you how this is to be done and get the info or the properties back. And if I want spaces in between text, I can go in and I can put in the, the same greater than and less than signs, the letters BR, which stands for break, which means give me some space. And you can actually put that in those uh, brackets more than once. So if I wanted to have a couple of spaces, I could do this twice in a row just to give myself some more space. Maybe I want to do the same thing down here as well to give myself some space between these different areas. Now I have a handout that's online that will show you a little bit more about this particular uh, concept, but let's see how that changes as we put in just that BR tag. Now look at my text. As you scroll down there's the image and there's my discussion prompts. Everything kind of flows in place. So that's adding an image that's already online. What if we have to use our own images? Uh, this is a much better idea, obviously, because then you're not worried about copyright violation. Earlier I went and used a digital camera and took pictures from the actual book where the wild things are, and I've just put those on my computer in a folder. So those are just sitting out on my desktop in a folder called where the wild things are. You can see there's my folder. And inside are several images that I used straight from the book and so I want a picture where Max is sent to his dinner to his uh, bed without dinner. It looks like this is the picture right here that I want to use. So I need to get that picture online. Well this is where I'm going to use uh, Google again. So we did Google image search earlier in order to find a video or find an image but what if I need to upload my images? Well one of the nice things about this class is since you've created a Google account you actually have access to Google Photos or what's called the Picasso web album. As I click on that area Google Photos actually allows me to up gives me space online where I can upload uh, up to one gigabyte of my own photos so that I can share them or use those online. You can see across the top of this little box there's an upload button. As I click that it lets me create a new album or work from an existing album. Well I'm going to make a new one, right? And I'll call this Where the Wild Things Are because that's what my pictures are about. And I can make this public or private. I'll keep mine private, unlisted. Some people don't need to see this but me. It's just for me to use. And I'll continue with that. Now it lets me browse and upload my photos. So I'm going to go and click the Browse button. And as this dialog box opens, it will let me search out for a photo. And I'll just go into my Where the Wild Things Are. And I'll find the exact photo that I want. And then I'll upload that. You can see you can upload multiple pictures at a time uh, to save yourself some time. Once the pictures are in your Picasso web, then I can get the address again. Remember, if I click on a given picture and then I right click on the picture, I can get its copy the image's location or find out its properties. So I'll copy that. And now as we go back into Google Earth, let's edit our little uh, tour again. Okay, let's edit this again so we'll right click on it. I want to put the right picture in. So I just need to come in here and replace the image that was the wrong image with this new address which is the right image. So Let's see how that looks. So the process doesn't change. The only thing that's changed is now I have to upload my own photos and using Google Images or Google Photos with the Picasso web album is a great way that I can upload all of my photos and you'll see that they just exist within the galleries here. If you've never used an online photo storage you can uh, this is a great way to do that. Again once the pictures are online all you have to do is get the image selected and right click on it so that you can copy its image its location or get the properties. So that's a little bit about putting images into your Google Lit Trip. I hope this has been helpful so that you can see how you can accomplish the same task yourself. Thanks for watching.